Mr. President. Senator from Nebraska. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, the Winnebago Land Transfer Act brings a simple issue of fairness to the Senate floor. I introduced this bill with my colleagues after hearing from members of the Winnebago tribe about the trials that they have faced over decades. These trials were sadly imposed by our own government, and that's why our government must resolve them. In the mid-1800s, the government forcibly removed the Winnebago tribe from their homeland. They settled in a new home in 1865, the Winnebago Indian Reservation in my home state of Nebraska. The government promised that land to the Winnebago tribe, and they promised it forever. But they did not keep that promise. In 1970, the United States Army Corps of Engineers condemned 1,600 acres of the tribe's reservation land for a proposed recreation project, a project that was never even started. The land seizure launched over half a century of legal battles between the Winnebago tribe and the United States government, battles that never brought this matter to a just resolution. But America is defined by our striving toward the ideals of justice and equity. Our government was established to protect these ideals. And that is what we will do by passing the Winnebago Land Transfer Act. Our, legisla our legislation will restore the tribe's rightful land, transferring the remaining tracts of land back from the United States Army Corps. The House of Representatives passed this legislation earlier this year, and that is the version we are voting on today. They passed it because, like I said, it's a simple issue of fairness, one that all of us, no matter our political party, can get behind. I am hopeful that today the Senate will follow suit, that we will uphold those ideals of justice and of equality. I am hopeful we will pass this bill to return the land to its rightful owner, the Winnebago tribe. So, Mr. President, as if in legislative session, I ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of calendar number 411, H.R. 1240. The clerk will report. Calendar number 411, H.R. 1240, an act to transfer administrative jurisdiction of certain federal lands from the Army Corps of Engineers and so forth and for other purposes. Without objection, we will now proceed to the measure. I ask unanimous consent that the bill be considered read a third time. Without objection. I know of no further debate on the bill. If no further debate, questions on passage of the bill. All in favor will say aye. Aye. All opposed will say nay. Ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The bill is passed. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.